Winning Rookie of the Year last year was a great thing for myself and my family. Everyone was really excited, especially Uncle Jimmy. Uh, he, he gets it really emotional and he knows all the hard work I put in to get these awards and to be where I am today. Uncle Jimmy is actually my mom's uncle, my great uncle. Going to Uncle Jimmy's house was, you know, one of my favorite things as a kid. I slept over his house on the weekends numerous times, I can't even count. My whole family is, you know, basketball oriented. You know, my mom was a coach, my stepfather was a coach, my dad played, all my little brothers played. So it was just a lot, you know what I mean? There's a lot of basketball. And going over there was, you know, kind of like my escape. I didn't have to worry about playing bad or playing good or, or even basketball in general. I could, you know, think about other things. I lost my grandmother when I was really young, and my mom was also young also. She was only 20, 21 years old. And for him to help her was really special to me just because I know, you know he was really there. I couldn't imagine my success without, you know, Uncle Jimmy. Uh, he was always there, like I said, you know, just to, just to support me. And, um, you know, a lot of times I needed him and uh, needed his eyes in the stands. For these holidays and for this Christmas, I've made something for Uncle Jimmy. I've made this, you know, Rookie of the Year collage. I won't be able to be at his house on Christmas Eve, you know, which is a tradition of ours. So I made this and I'm hoping it will bring a smile to his face and I'm hoping he'll enjoy it. Dear Uncle Jimmy, I wanted to take a minute and thank you for all you have done for me. When my grandmother died, I was just nine months old and things were hard for my mother. You were there for us. I remember sleeping over at your house and eating lots of junk food and making root beer fraps. You came to all my youth games, took me on vacation, and spent quality time with me. I appreciate what you and Aunt Meg have done. I love you both. Michael. Uh, when I opened the card and saw it was from Michael, I had no idea, like I said, this was coming when I read the card. and had no idea because he's really never expressed any emotions um, about that particular subject to me. So this time of the year, the holidays, it was obviously very touching to hear from my nephew and to realize how much he thought of me in his life. Very touching because we don't get to see Mike too much anymore since he's traveling all over the country. So when I do hear from him, it means a lot to us. Michael's a very um, thoughtful kid, I'd say. Not a kid anymore, but he's very thoughtful. He's never been about Michael. He's always been about helping others and doing things for others. Well, Michael, um, we're gonna obviously miss you Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. Um, thank you so much for everything. We're really looking forward to seeing you after the holidays at the garden. And I hope you have a Merry Christmas. And just remember, everybody back in Boston is thinking of you. So get a W, make it a happy Christmas Eve. We're gonna miss you. And we love you. It makes me, you know, feel good that he really appreciates, you know, my words and, and the gift that I gave him. It just means a lot to him, and that's why. And I'm glad that, you know, I can, you know, write him words and, and they really mean a lot and really hit home for him. Not being there on Christmas and Christmas Eve is tough for me and him. And um, I hope that gift, you know, makes it a little bit easier that I'm not there. Baseball has their season, so does football. But the holidays? That season belongs to the U.S. Postal Service. So when it comes time to ship your holiday gifts, trust the U.S. Postal Service to get your gifts where they need to be. The U.S. Postal Service. Priority you.